Today we're diving into SIRDs. So what exactly is a SIRD? A SIRD is a square root, cube root, or other root of a number that results in an irrational number, meaning it has an infinite, non-repeating decimal. For example, the square root of 2 and the square root of 5 are SIRDs. Note that SIRDs cannot be expressed as exact fractions. On the other hand, the square root of 9 is not a SIRD, because the square root of 9 equals 3, which is a rational number. Before we look at some problems, there is a very important law in indices we need to understand. If we have a number a raised to the power n, multiplied to another number b raised to the same power n, it is equal to the product of the two numbers, that's a times b, raised to the power n. For example, let's say a and b are separately raised to the power 1 half, then we can simply raise the product to the power half. By the way, a number raised to the power of 1 half is the same as finding the square root of that number. So we say that square root of a times square root of b is the equal to the square root of a times b. So for example, the square root of 3 times the square root of 5 is the same as the square root of 3 times 5, which is 15. Also, what if we want to simplify the square root of 20? We can rewrite 20 as 4 times 5. That means root 20 can be rewritten as root 4 times root 5. Now root 4 is 2, so root 20 can be rewritten as 2 root 5. By the way, the same principle applies for division. Root A over root B is the same as root A over B. So for example, if we have root 2, divide by root 5, it's the same as the square root of 2 fifths. Let's try some examples. The first problem is to simplify root 32 plus root 18 minus root 8. Now 32 can be rewritten as 16 times 2, 18 is 9 times 2, and 8 is 4 times 2. In applying the rule of SIRDs, we get root 16 times root 2, root 9 times root 2, and root 4 times root 2. Now root 16 is 4, root 9 is 3, and root 4 is 2. Group all the terms in root 2, and we get 5 root 2. Another way to see this is to factor root 2 from each term, and we should get 4 plus 3 minus 2 in the brackets, which is the same as root 2 times 5, or 5 root 2. Let's try another example. Simplify 3 root 5 plus 7 root 20 minus 2 root 45. This time the smallest third is root 5, so we'll rewrite all the terms in root 5. So we restate 3 root 5. 20 can be written as root 4 times 5, and 45 is 9 times 5. Root 4 times 5 is root 4 times root 5. Root 9 times 5 is root 9 times root 5. Now 7 times root 4 is 14, since root 4 is 2. 2 times root 9 is 6, since root 9 is 3. Group all the terms in root 5, and we get 11 root 5. Again, if you are not seeing how we arrived at the answer, just factor root 5, and in the bracket we'll have 3 plus 14 minus 6, which is 11. Here's another problem. Simplify 7 plus the square root of 3 over 3 minus the square root of 3. To do this, we need to rationalize the denominator by multiplying the denominator by its conjugate. We get the conjugate of the denominator by changing the sign of the second term to get 3 plus root 3. However, to keep the fraction equivalent, we also need to multiply the numerator by the same 3 plus root 3. Now let's expand the brackets in the numerator. 7 times 3 is 21. 7 times the square root of 3 is 7 root 3. Root 3 times 3 is 3 root 3. And the final term is root 3 times root 3, which is 3. We can expand the denominator in the same way. 
to get 9 minus 3, which is 6. Group 21 and 3 in the numerator to get 24, while 7 root 3 and 3 root 3 is 10 root 3. We can put each term in the numerator over 6. Now 24 over 6 is 4, while 10 6 reduces to 5 thirds. So our final answer is 4 plus 5 root 3 over 3. The fourth and final problem is to show that the square root of 50 minus the square root of 18 all over the square root of 2 is equal to 2. To rationalize the denominator, we multiply by root 2. But we also need to multiply the numerator by the same root 2 to keep the fraction equivalent. In the numerator, root 2 times root 50 is root 100, while root 2 times root 18 is root 36. In the denominator, root 2 times root 2 is root 4. The square root of 100 is 10, root 36 is 6, and root 4 is 2. 10 minus 6 is 4, and 4 divided by 2 is 2. So the proof is complete. Remember to like, share, and subscribe so that you can be notified on new uploads. See you soon.